In this movie, it's homework time, specifically database change problem one. While database changes can be rare, they can wreak havoc if you're not prepared to deal with them. And keep in mind that any time, even if a database changes directory, location, or address on a server or domain, your reports will no longer function. So let's begin. Using the support file, modification report1.rpt, I need you to repoint the database to crystalbeginnerdb dash remodified. Then I need you to map the new fields. These are the fields they saw fit to change the name of because they sounded cooler or maybe they just know what they were doing, but still, it happened and the past is the past. Then I want you to reinsert the new rev transaction table and the corresponding fields to match what was in the original report. I highly suggest that you do a save as, just in case you make a mistake and need to go back. If not, no worries, you can always re-download the support files. The new tables, as they were, would be revenue transaction to rev transaction. The new field mapping would be the client num to client number, client to client name, that's for the customer table, and the revenue amount to revenue AMT, and the rev date to spelled out revenue date from the rev transaction table. Again, this really comes in handy. I mean, all it takes is a simple cut and paste out of a folder and your reports will point to the wrong location. You have to know how to reset them and find them again. Also, if things change on you, it helps to be able to take a report and modify it as quickly as possible. So at least it points to the new tables, new fields, etc. The joins, just in case, the rev transaction site number to the office dot office num and the rev transaction client number to customer dot client number. My advice to you is to break the report and then put it back together again. These are one of those things where you don't do it very often, but when it does happen, if you've forgotten or don't know how, it becomes an all-day thing before you figure it out again. Much like setting up a new ODBC driver. In the next movie, we'll go through the solution.